Marrakesh is a game for two to four players, ages six and up, by Manfred Ludwig. The object of the game is to make it to Marrakesh with as many camels as possible to collect the treasure there. To set up the game, divide the treasure tiles into their colors and shuffle them face down so that you cannot see the values. Then place them on their corresponding spaces on the Marrakesh board and place all the desert tiles in a line leading away from the Marrakesh board. Make sure the oasis is six spaces away from Marrakesh and that the drifting dune is at the back of the line. Each player places the four camels of their color on the start space and you're ready to begin. On your turn, you will pull one of these tiles out of this bag and do the relevant action. You can feed one of your camels to make him move that many spaces. This tile either lets one of your camels catch up to the next nearest camel or sends one of the opposing camels back to the next furthest away camel. And this tile causes whichever tile is at the back of the line to move all the way to the front. If a camel stops on the oasis space, they may immediately move three more spaces. And if you pull a food tile that would allow your camel to advance past the drifting dune, he must stop there first instead of moving his full movement. If you pull a drifting dune tile and there are camels at the back of the line, they fall off and are lost. However, camels that fall off are still worth one point apiece. If a camel reaches Marrakesh, he may claim one treasure. The red treasures are in general more valuable than the blue, which are more valuable than the yellow, which are more valuable than the green, uh, and places his camel on it and sets it aside. If there's only one player left in the game, they may pull three more tiles out of the bag and then the game is over. The player with the most points then wins. While it may seem overly simplistic, the decision of which camel you move on your turn is actually a meaningful choice. Uh, additionally, there's a, a couple of balancing factors. The fact that the dune starts at the back of the line means that every player has a chance to potentially get a camel all the way to Marrakesh at the beginning. So, uh, so you may not want to advance all your camels evenly. You may want to, uh, to, to try and rush one of the camels in. Uh, also, the part where the oasis uh, space is one step in front of the starting space means that even if you pull, pull a, only a one food tile on your turn, that, that you're still in the running. Leaving a big gap between uh, two of your camels uh, can mean this, this tile would benefit you a lot, or if somebody uses it against you, could be very negative. Uh, also, this tile is the only way to get your camel past the shifting dune without stopping on it first. So while it is a children's game, y you are actually making real decisions in it, uh, and and so it can also be good as a filler. And for the record, these camels do tend to fall over on their faces a lot.